Hi, I'm Julie Bain. I'm the health director for Ladies Home Journal, and I have learned so much about ovarian cancer recently. We're planning a story for our November issue, and it tells the story of my young colleague, Amanda Wolf, who at the age of only 24 found out that her mother had stage 3C ovarian cancer. Um, her mom was in Ohio, Amanda lives here in New York, and she flew back and forth over the course of the 21 months from diagnosis to death. Terribly sad story, and far too typical of ovarian cancer, as we know. But in the course of working on this story, I talked to a lot of experts, and there are glimmers of hope. Early detection is the key, of course, with any cancer, but so far we don't have a great screening test like, uh, like the pap test or mammogram for ovarian cancer. But some recent studies show that following the CA125 blood marker in healthy people over time may show who's most at risk for ovarian cancer and may lead to tests that can detect it earlier. Until this test is implemented widely, we have to be our own best health advocates. Pay attention to your body and really note if you have any changes in bowel or bladder symptoms, abdominal pain, Anything that doesn't feel right to you, be sure to discuss it with your doctor.